Hello everyone in YouTube land, this is Erica. Um, I wanted to do a quick blog on some things from thefem.com. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go subscribe. Um, I, I keep current videos on here. I try to touch on topics that everybody likes. Um, and uh, I'm trying to promote my website and whatnot. I'll put, I'll put it in the annotations. Go to thefem.com. And uh, I have a section on there called Daily Dose. And Daily Dose, it's not actually different things daily. Well, actually, I do change things daily on there. There's different things on there like Couple of the Week, Femme of the Week, Stud of the Week, um, different gay travel sites of the week. And then, like, every other day or so, I'll change and put something goofy up there, just something funny. Like, uh, you know, you may be a lesbian if you know, who killed Jenny, stuff like that, just something entertaining, you know, hopefully to brighten up your day a little bit, um, so this week, uh, because it is now officially Monday, uh, I will have a new stud and a new fam, yay, and a new couple up there, and I also put up there, um, you may be a stalker if, so I want to talk about uh, prerequisites to being a stalker because there are some straight stalkers on the internet all right and in just in real life in general and there's a few things that you know if you're doing these things you are a stalker <laughs> and it's not cute and I mean like stalking your ex um, let me see what are some stalker things <clears throat> if your ex has a myspace and every time, you know, you, you monitor it. And every time they add someone, you add that person, you're a stalker. Okay? And then so they're like tired of you doing this. So then they block you or they delete you. So then you make a fake page to go and find out what's going on between them and this new person that they added. Because you have this huge conspiracy thing set up in your head. That's a stalker move. Don't do that. Driving past the house. We've all done it. I've done it. You've done it. But at some point, there's got to be a time where you're like, dude, I'm too old to do that. Stop driving past people's houses and seeing if they're there. And stop looking for unmarked cars. And stop looking to see if their car is there. Because the reality of it is, is if they really want to be sneaky, they'll have somebody drop their ass over to wherever they're going. Or they'll have somebody have a friend drop whoever it is over there. They had no business being over there. They'll drop them over there. If they really want to be sneaky about it. And you'll never know the difference. So stop going past people's houses. It's crazy. I've had. I had got, The last dude that I dated many, many years ago. Uh, like. Did that. And caught me with a girl. <laughs> but caught me with my girlfriend now. That's so funny. No, but really, like, on a more serious note, like, without me flirting with my girlfriend via YouTube, uh, that's not cool. It makes you look so desperate to be a stalker like that. You know, if you and somebody been broken up for a year and, or, you know, over a year, and a year is if you were with that person for a long time. If you've been working up with this person for over a year and you still trying to keep in touch with their family and the, and they hate you, you're a stalker. Why are you talking to their family if the person hates you? They don't want anything to do with you. So leave it alone. Especially if it's not like the family's trying to contact you and you're one out of your way. You are a stalker. Um, if you're going to get offended by what I'm talking about, you're probably a little bit on the stalker side. You know, like if you're doing stuff like checking emails, voicemails, trying to figure out pet trying to figure out passwords and stuff, you're a stalker. Mm -hmm. If you go past their work, especially if you go past somebody's work, you're a stalker. That's like the ultimate stalker move. And if, I mean, if the only way that you can even get the person to talk to you is uh, via somebody else's phone or like a pay phone, or you have one of those iPhones and you're like, da -da -da -da, and you dial it in like it's somebody else's number. You do the little, little ID block or whatever. 
and pretend like you're somebody else. You're a stalker, especially if you do that. You're definitely a stalker. So, these are just a few different types of stalker things, especially via internet, because it is so easy to come up on stalkers on the internet. Um, and if you're one of these stalkers, I got a few of these, I know for a fact. You know who you are. I hope you're watching this video, lame ass. If you're one of those stalkers that stalks your friend's booze to try to see if they're cheating or what's going on, you're lame and you're probably single. Hallelujah. Make it a hallelujah. And you're going to stay single and lame as long as you occupy your day with stalking your friends, girlfriends, or boyfriends. Okay. So, uh, I hope that sheds some insight. You know, if you're being a stalker, it's okay. We've all loved and acted a little stalkerish sometimes, but today is the day to stop and say it's enough. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to stalk this person anymore. They don't want me. I'm going to move on with my life. And I'm going to become happy. And you're going to stop stalking them today. Go and block them from your MySpace. Go and block them from your Twitter, your Downlink, your Adam for Adam, whatever, your Facebook. Block them. Time to start to just. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. It'll feel so good to let it go. Okay? So, thank you for tuning into my channel. Subscribe. I think I'm going to do like one or two more videos tonight. And I will be back tomorrow. Toodles.